Where does a loss for the Democrats in a big House race in Georgia leave the party? That's the question for the rest of this week politically after Karen Handel, a Republican, won a, a hotly contested runoff in the 6th Congressional District of Georgia on Tuesday, beating John Ossoff, a Democrat. This was a seat Republicans had held. Tom Price, the uh, Secretary of Health and Human Services, had vacated the seat to take a cabinet position. Democrats thought they could win this race because it's a close district. They had a lot of money. Uh, they had a motivated base, they thought, but they lost anyway. This is a bitter disappointment for the Democrats. Uh, and it tells them a couple of things they are going to have to wrestle with now for the rest of this year and in 2018 as they go into House elections there. The first uh, thing that they think they learned is that uh, having a money advantage is not necessarily as good as it sounds because Republicans will do what they need to do to catch up. That's what happened in Georgia. Uh, John Ossoff had a lot of money, money poured in from around the country from energized Democrats. But in the long run, uh, Republican groups basically caught up in even the money race. The other thing they learned is that Republican voters will really show up, even if they're not thrilled with President Trump. That seems to have been the case in Georgia, where there were some Trump skeptics who seem to have voted a Republican anyway. But the biggest problem for Democrats is this going to open up a kind of a civil war within the party about where, where the party should head philosophically and strategically. Should the party attempt to move hard to the left and energize the base and excite anti-Trump voters, uh, particularly young ones, uh, who really want to be the party that is philosophically opposed to the Republicans and that has a clear ideological distinction, or should it try to do what John Ossoff did in, uh, in Georgia, which is try to sound more moderate, sound centrist, and peel away eventually some of those independents and moderate Republicans who don't like Donald Trump. The latter was the approach that was tried in Georgia. It wasn't quite enough. There's going to be a lot of pressure on Democrats to move left, go hard anti-Trump, and to see that as the ticket to winning back control of the House in 2018.